I'm excited to say that Kerry Smith has decided to join Client First Capital, and I wanted to take some time today for you to get to know Kerry. So Kerry, tell us a little bit about your hobbies, your family, uh, what makes Kerry, Kerry? You bet, Amar. Well, thank you, and it's good to be here with you. Um, you know, I'll start with, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I actually live in Cape Creek, which is kind of North Phoenix. I live with my wife, Regina, and our dog, Scout. Um, I refer to Regina as my better three quarters as opposed to my better <laughs> half. And, um, and Scout, she's a rescue. She's a Border Collie mix. Um, sweet dog, but definitely a part of the family. Um, something you and I have in common is we both have a passion for cycling. Um, I have a road bike and a couple of mountain bikes. And I love to, you know, just go for long bike rides. And I've been doing that for, you know, for a couple of decades now. Um, it's, it's definitely one of the ways that I that helps keep me fit. Um, as a matter of fact, I recently started working for REI as a mountain bike guide. So if you come to Phoenix or Scottsdale, there's a good chance that, uh, <laughs> um, and you sign up for a ride, there's a good chance we might be paired together. And so, um, but, you know, also speaking of careers, uh, I was in the Navy. Um, I spent most of my naval career on the USS Carl Vinson, an aircraft carrier. Um, after the Navy, um, I went to work for USAA, and I worked for USA for 35 years. And as a matter of fact, I just retired from USAA in August uh, last summer. And, um, you know, I was fortunate to be able to, to, to do many different roles with USAA. Um, but I'll mention two that I think are, are very relevant here. Um, for about eight years, I led um, a large part of USAA's financial advice and planning um, business. I had about 400 financial advisors at various locations across the country. And, you know, our job was to give financial advice and guidance to USAA members, which for the most part is the military community. And so that was a, a very rewarding job. Um, the last four years that I was at USAA, I was the executive responsible for all of USA's health insurance or the sales of USA health insurance. And so the health insurance business, very dynamic, an important part of risk management with most financial plans. And I was also fortunate to be a part of that business as well. Um, you know, outside of, of career, um, I'm on the board of directors for Junior Achievement. I have been for the, the last decade. Um, great organization, helps prepare young people um, for business careers or entrepreneurism. And then Regina and I volunteer for our church. So that's a little bit about me. That's awesome. I always tell my wife, we, you can always have N plus one bikes, right? That's, that's right. <laughs> um, so after 35 years at USAA, why uh, Client First Capital? And why well, now? Yeah, Amari, you, you know, when I was in the, you and I spoke when I was in the process of retiring from USAA last summer, and we talked about the possibility of working together. And, you know, at the time, I felt like I just needed to step away um, and spend a little time being retired and seeing what retirement felt like and also give me a little time to contemplate what my next steps would be. So I suggested that you and I speak um, at the beginning of the year, right, uh, which we did. And, you know, that time of stepping away was important because it gives you, you, you know, one, if it felt great just to take a break. Regina and I did some traveling. Um, I was a lot more focused on just my own physical fitness um, and well-being, which was great. But like a lot of people, when they step into retirement, you also start to, to think about how are you going to stay mentally engaged and what is that that next part of, of, of your life look like? And so, you know, I see client first capital as a way for me to continue to, to help problem solving and stay mentally engaged, but also to be able to, to help a business grow and succeed. Um, and, and at the same time, after 35 years working in a really large organization, I'm excited about the opportunity to be part of a startup and work with a smaller team. Yeah, we're super excited as well. Um, and so I guess the, the bigger question there is like, what do you hope to accomplish with Client First Capital? You know, what type of impact are you looking to have on the community through Client First Capital or how will this impact uh, your legacy or other parts of, uh, you know, your values, et cetera? Yeah, you, you know, as, as far as my legacy goes, um, Amar, 
you know, what I hope to be able to do is take what I've learned in 35 years of financial services and, and use that to make a difference for others in the business, right? To be able to share my experience and help others um, have the same success that I've had. And, you know, success is not just success for the business, but it's success for, for you know, the team members. And it's also success for the clients. And I really see that as, as, as my legacy of just giving back and, and, um, and sharing what I've learned over the years. Yeah, we will definitely have a direct impact in such a yeah. small company, right? Um, no doubt. What does uh, success look like? Let's let's wrap this up and let's like the last question here is like, how would you define success? What does success look like for you? Um, you know, at this point, Amar, I think success really is simply helping others, um, you know, succeed in business, um, but also a heavy dose of, of having fun while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah we, we definitely like to have fun and, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Kerry. Um, I'm excited for your next chapter as well as Client First Capital's next chapter uh, in, in really helping individuals make the best financial decisions for them. And I know you're going to be an integral part of the next chapter and how that works out for everybody. So thank you. Thank you for watching. And thank you, Kerry. Thank you.